today we're checking out the old the old haunted uh, Drummond Bridge in Bryceville, Tennessee. It's actually really hard to find this place right now because it's so grown up and I drove by it a couple times. And it's actually a, it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. But uh, So we finally made it here. Um, well, the Drummond Bridge is named after a guy who was actually hanged from this bridge by the militia during the um, Coal Creek War in Bryceville. But uh, supposedly he was hanged from, I think, right over there. And um, they say that if you come up here late at night time, you can actually see his ghost walking around the bridge there. We almost came up here last night, but I don't think we would have ever found this place. Yeah. So this guy, Richard Drummond. Holy crap, look at that turtle. You see that? He was, uh, he was a member of the Navy, I do believe. I'll get you some more information on the, the whole story. Let you know what's going on with that. We're gonna check out a a little bit check out a few things in the area I believe there's some pretty cool history here so we may actually come back here at night time sometime and do a night video and see if we can actually catch uh, catch the ghost walking around See if we can get up on top of it here. And have a look. Wow, that's cool. Richard Drummond was the son of John and Sarah, who lived in Jefferson County, Tennessee. Richard served in the Navy aboard the USS Pensacola before becoming a miner at the Shamrock Mine in 1892. In 1893, Richard got into a brawl with a man of the National Guard, unfortunately killing that man. Later that night, several soldiers from Fort Anderson came for Richard and hanged him from this bridge. 16 officers were arrested and the area was placed under martial law. This all happened during the Cold Creek Wars. Thanks for joining us on this adventure. Uh, make sure you uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. But thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.